Hey guys, this is really sad. Another one bites the dust. That's what I'm going to call this video. Why? Well, another hemlock has died due to the adelgid. And, well, let's take a look at it before it gets cut down. And here it is. It died towards the end of last summer during that horrible drought we were having. And that's going to be cut down this morning, sometime in the next hour or two. This tree's probably over a hundred years old. And as you can see, what happens when the adelgid finally kills a tree becomes a skeleton, a ghost. Nothing left. My theory on what killed this tree starts with, well, it's in an unstable area to start with. And according to my sources, this tree originally was standing straight, but then over time it began to lean. Yeah, ducks. And the lean progressed as the tree got older. And maybe this had some stress effect on its roots. And that stressed the tree out some? I don't know. Then the tree met the adelgid, which began to weaken the tree drastically. And then, of course, last year, this little creek dried up. And this whole area was just dry as a bone. So, of course, without the water that it was used to, look at this root going straight into the creek. Without the water this tree was used to, it could not do anything but weather and die. So again, very sad. And this is the last time anyone will ever see this tree standing. Because the crew is coming to cut it down soon. Very sad. The end of an ancient life. After the tree is felled, I'll count the rings and we'll just see how old this tree really was. Maybe we can learn some interesting information from the width of the rings also.
This tree's around 85 years old. This tree's around 85 years old. I'm looking at the rings. You can see that for the first 60 or so years of its life, out to about this point, the tree had fairly wide rings. The spaces between the rings were fairly wide, indicating pretty good rain. And then for the last 30 or so years, they get a lot narrower in this area especially. Now is that showing a drop in rainfall? A drop in the creek levels? What's it attributed to? They're tightly packed up here in this area. Everywhere, all the way around the tree for the last inch especially. I don't know if this is a normal thing. Or if it's just due to the drop in rainfall. Only, only here, on this one section of the tree, not a very big section, are the rings wider on the last, on the last 15 years of the tree's life. So, what killed the tree? Combination of things. Drought, the adelgid, maybe land use, but that's the end of this tree's life. Whatever caused it, but that is the end of this tree's life and it's really a sad thing that these trees are dying due to the adelgid and climate change put together, but that's just the way things are right now in the year 2008. 